Hey YouTubers, this is the Dragonfly manual attachment for wheelchairs, so you can use your uh, wheelchair as if it were a bicycle. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick preview of what it looks like ride, using one of these to ride around, and then I will talk a little bit more about it. Here we go. I'll be right back. Okay, so just a quick little preview there. Um, now I'll talk about the good and the bad. Of course, the good is that you can just attach this to your wheelchair, go wherever you need to go, whether you're going to the store or the library or whatever it is. Uh, detach it, use a bike lock if you want to lock it up somewhere. Go into wherever you're going, store, library, I don't know, party, something like that. Um, then come back out with your wheelchair, put it back on, and go on your way. Um, so the reason I got this was because my other bike, or the other trike I have, is down in Florida, and I needed something in New Jersey. Um, but I didn't want to get another one of those, so I figured I'd try this out. Uh, one of my friends has one of these, and he loves it. So I figured, hey, if he loves it, I should try it out. So I got one. Um, so I mentioned the good. There's quite a bit of bad or negative, I feel, that goes along with this. First of all, even though it's called the Dragonfly, it's actually quite heavy. And it is kind of difficult to put on uh, by yourself. I've been able to do it um, two or three times since I've had it. And I'm sure I'd get better with a lot of practice, but it is, uh, it's kind of cumbersome and unwieldy and just clumsy and heavy. Um, so that's a negative. Another negative is it, uh, it's harder to push than my regular bicycle. And I believe that's because the front wheel is so much smaller. And although there are different gears, they don't really help out that much. Um, so that's so that's another negative. Uh, another one is it did not come with an instruction booklet of how to put it together. So um, my father and I were laboring for quite a long time trying to figure out how to put everything together. We basically had to do it by watching um, videos of online of. Um, people with the motorized attachment, which is similar, but has a few key differences. So after quite a while, um, it, was, it was a couple of weeks, maybe even three weeks, we were able to get it to work properly and get everything together. Um, so that was another negative. Uh, another negative is I don't, and some people might like this, I don't, the, um, the handles. On my other bike, they're out um, horizontally. These are vertical, which I don't like as much. I find it much easier to hold on this way than to do it this way. The other thing about these, which makes it a little more tricky, is that the horizontal ones, when you stop pushing, if they're up here, if you stop pushing, they'll stay up here, which is really nice. These, I'll show you, they kind of just fall. So, so let's say I'm pedaling along and I have to, oops, I had the brake on, and I have to scratch my nose, what will happen is this one will fall right down. And if it, and it just, it can just be, quite problematic. Um, I 
think that's about it for good and bad. Wobbly. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> thank you. My, my camera person reminded me. Um, it's also a bit more, the, the steering is all right, but it's, it's not as stable as my other bike. And I think actually that might not be the fault of the attachment, but the fault of my wheelchair because um, my wheels aren't cambered that much. So when I'm going really fast and I have to take a sharp turn, it, I, my wheelchair is r really wobbly, which is you know kind of a pain in the butt. It takes some getting used to. You have to work the brakes differently. Also, that's another thing. The brakes on this work um, more like a regular bike, at least what I assume a regular bike, how a regular bike works in terms of the brakes, that you just squeeze this, and there you go, that's your brake. Or squeeze this, and that's your brake. Whereas the bike I have down in Florida, you push or pull backwards. Instead, when you push to go forward, you're going this way. To brake, you just push it the opposite way. So, excuse me. So I'm quite used to that, and that causes me a little um, confusion sometimes. Um, I believe this attachment was about two thousand um, dollars, but it may have been slightly less, eighteen hundred or something like that. But that's around what it was. The motorized attachment is a bit more, from what I recall. Um, and honestly, the motorized attachment probably works much better than the manual, but I didn't want the motorized because the whole reason I was getting this was for exercise, and the motorized attachment wouldn't allow me to get exercise. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.